in Kenya, we're seeing a lot of women businesses coming up um, today. Women are getting braver um, to, to get into the arena and start a business. And that's one thing that um, I always go out and encourage the women. Let us learn. I think our biggest problem is thinking small. Let us start thinking big. Thinking big. I know sometimes I suffer from that because I underestimate myself. And when people tell me something about myself, I say, me? Is that me? <laughs> you know? Underestimating ourselves. So we just have to be confident in ourselves and know that we can do it. I think we should uh, learn and try to, uh, you know, internalize and, uh, and support a culture of, first of all, gratitude, a culture of honoring excellence, a culture where we promote the right things. And I want to say, first of all, I am delighted because uh, Jackie, Akira, is it two years ago? First of all, did two things that we, we, we forgot to celebrate. The first thing she did is to bring Business Africa is like the, the, the sort of like an umbrella body of employee organizations. And the first thing Jackie did in one of her global missions was to bring it to Kenya. And the head office is actually sitting in, uh, in the uh, The next thing she did is actually to become its president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, FKE has moved from strength to strength and is one of the most uh, vocal uh, bodies. Uh, when it comes to employers, when it comes to issues of employers, when it comes to even dealing with our friends who are in the room, and they are really good friends of ours, Kotru, uh, who obviously represents employees as it should be, uh, Jackie has been uh, extremely, extremely uh, good and effective in handling that. Because for us to have um, industrial harmony, you need to have very good conversations between the employers and the employees so that we move on in harmony and we move on in the right, in the right environment. So we are really, really happy that, uh, that uh, Jackie, you are honored. That honor, and again, we need to just get that culture of appreciating these things. That honor is for Jackie, but it is for Kenya. Because it could have gone anywhere else. It could have been sitting in Tanzania, could have been sitting in Egypt, but it is sitting with us. And for that, we thank you. So I'm really humbled to have all of you here tonight. I confess that I never expected this recognition. So when it was announced, as the chairman has said, it didn't sink in for a while. And then I was both pleased and frightened because I know that with the responsibility, with recognition comes greater responsibility. Because the Bible says that to whom much is given, much is expected. So much is expected. And though one has worked and is getting recognized, I know that every single person standing in this room today could be where I am now, because we've all done great work. But for me, it gives me an opportunity to reflect and to know that actually, alongside my recognition, there are 49 other women who are recognized as being most influential in our continent at this time. So we're not just celebrating Jackie tonight, but we are really celebrating the woman and her role in an African society. What we are trying to say here is African women, African families have been investing the best of what they have in their children. And they have made the successes which today we can see. What is 50 in the middle of the millions of African women in this country? Isn't it too small? But it is a measure of development. If every single woman who is in a position of leadership pledges to herself that with me, I am going to climb with at least five, 10 million, I mean 10 women, it means we can, in five, 10 years, multiply the faces of that success. My message today, tonight, is congratulations to you, my daughter. We see in you exactly the kind of example which is telling that yes, the faces and the voices are no longer or that of presidents, ministers, and parliamentarians. The face and the voice of African women are business women as well. 
And that front of the economic front in which we are, it's where exactly we have done very little. Our nations have done, I'm not saying it's enough, but they have been investing in education. Our nations have been investing in health. We still have challenges. But in economic advancement of women, no. Very little. It's still very, very little. It's precisely because of that we are working with networks which exist. We are playing on the strength of unity to say, let's work not in a fragmented way, let us work in a united way so that we can define and strategize how to remove the structural obstacles which are keeping women behind. And doing this in Kenya, in Uganda, in whatever other countries, we build a movement in which women can move in waves. Kenyans, you are really very entrepreneurial people. You are brilliant people. You are able to give the example, not only on the continent, in the world, of the ability of Africans really to be innovative, to be creative. Do it for yourself as Kenyans, but do it for the rest of the continent. Take the lead. Show other countries that it can be done. Doing it so that no one is left behind in the next 15 years of the post-2015 agenda. It is possible, it can be done, and it is in your hands. Thank you. Jacqueline was a refreshing addition to FKE. She's made a significant difference in the Federation of Kenyan Employers. And I know the sacrifices that you have made for your family, being gone a lot, uh, coming in when it's vacation time, and you're saying, I'm on vacation, but I know I had this meeting. The travel, it's not easy. Uh, and you have made a significant difference in the way that we think about FKE, the way that we do business, some of the projects. If you look at the futures, the uh, industrial relations programs, the various publicity and newsletters and everything that you've done to make the Federation a strong organization. And you've had to fight the government sometimes too. I know how that is and, and oftentimes you're not appreciated for that. As you said, sometimes you can get bad mouth, but she has been strong and, uh, and determined to do what's best for employers in this country. I feel very excited about the recognition. I feel appreciated, like my work has made a difference. But beyond that, the recognition is a clear sign that the work that employers do on behalf of the continent has been recognized. And that as a woman occupying a specific space on the African continent today, I have a role to play. And that is talking to governments about what we need to do as a continent to improve the faith and the image and the lives of Africans. Because what employment does, we work for employers, is to give dignity to a person and to allow that person to contribute to the creation of wealth and providing opportunities, particularly for young people and women, to make a significant contribution to development.